Hi guys, welcome back to the Premier Hotspur TV. It's your man Simon, North of England's biggest Spurs fan. Yes, guys, it's just an update today, guys, um, on the fruitful talks. That's the words what got put to us with the um, talks with um, Antonio Conte um, to be our next manager. Um, so before we get into that, guys, um, remember if you want to keep um, seeing content from this channel, guys, um, like match previews, watch alongs, uh, team um, team news, any transfer news, um, quizzes, and things like that, guys. Um, still, still uh, continue to watch Premier Hotspur TV and make sure you subscribe, make sure you link, uh, um, make sure you like the channel as well, guys. Make sure you share it out to all your family and friends. Um, so let's delve into it guys, um, Antonio Conte, um, what we've been told yesterday that um, there's been, there has been um, talks, there has been discussions, uh, what we led to believe and uh, the words were fruitful, fruitful talks have, um, have began with Antonio Conte, so I don't know how far they are, um, who knows, um, so the, the guys that Tier, and the guys at tier one and things like that, they probably know uh, more than anyone else. Um, but this is what what this is what got Bron uh, Bronx yesterday. Um, so let's just talk about um, Conte a bit and his and his um, managing career and what he's won in um, individual trophies. He's won awards, what he's won as well. Um, so so and, uh, Antonio Conte is age fifty one, guys, uh, and we know what a sort of manager he is. And no. He's a no-nonsense manager. He'll come in. Um, he won't, won't have no one uh, messing about. No one um, telling him what to do. No one. Literally, he'll be his way. Um, but um, wherever he's gone, he's won trophies, guys. I mean, he's similar to Jose Mourinho, but I think um, we can probably see uh, better football um, under Conte, um, like we saw when we was at Chelsea. For for two uh, for two seasons, so his career started at Bari um, in this in the uh, Serie B. Um, he started there uh, two thousand seven um, for two years till two thousand nine, and it was in his second season um, two thousand eight two thousand nine. That's where he won the Serie B title. And then he went on to Atalanta um, in two thousand nine to two thousand ten. So the only season there. Then he went on to Siena, and the only, only a season there as well, 2010-2011. Then he went on to his, probably his biggest job, um, was Juventus. Um, he was there from 2011 to 2014. In that time, guys, he's, he won um, f he won three Serie A titles um, in 11-12 season, 12-13 season, and 13-14 season, um, and two Super uh, Coppa Italians. Um, in 2012 and 2013 and um, so he had a really good career um, really good manager career um, Juventus it was really good um, three Serie A titles um, two super, um, super Italian Cups um, so yeah he's won trophies there guys that's five that's five trophies um, at Juventus then he went to uh, manage Italy um, from 2014 to 2016 um, then he went on to then he went back to uh, 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 managerial um, and it was at Chelsea next um, 2016 2018 and in that time um, in his first season his first season guys 2016 2017 he won the Premier League and that's what I'm saying about this guy if he gives if he's been given the right weapons given the right tools um, he can, he's another one who can turn um, you into um, title contenders um, and will start start winning trophies. Um, but I know people say we're, <laughs> we'd start uh, before we get in managed like this, we'd start from the people at the top. I do understand that, but I'm just trying to say what Conte can bring to us. I mean, um, so then the following season, 2017 2018, he won an FA Cup. At Chelsea, which that is, I mean, quite a good career at Chelsea. I mean, he's won a, a league, he's won a league, and he's won an FA Cup. Um, 
Then he went on to, um, in 2019, he went on to Inter Milan, and he's still there present. Um, so he's won the Serie A uh, this season. Um, <coughs> and he was a Europa um, League runner-up in 2019 and 2020. Um, so you can say um, he's taken an Inter Milan side, you know what I mean? Who, you know, the best of best of years over the last few years I mean and since he's come in he's recruited well he's got him going and just that just goes to show what a good manager he is as well you know what I mean um, where he can go toe to toe with like the Juventus you know what I mean the big boys of the league and he's he's got him, he's got him to win the title and Christian Eriksen got the winning goal the other night um, to clinch the Serie A title um, so that's his managing career guys that's, that's what he's Done what he's won in his managing career, so I think he's had quite a successful managing career. Um, not as won as much trophies as, as like Jose Mourinho's and things like that, but um, he's done well. Um, so individual um, awards, guys. So when he was at Juventus, um, so he got Serie A coach of the year three years in a row 11 um, 12 season, 12 13 season, 13 14 season. Um, and also he won um, the Global Soccer Award uh, for, the, for the Coach of the Year um, in 2013. Um, and when he was at Chelsea, um, he won the London Football Awards for Manager of the Year 2017. And he won the Premier League Manager of the Season 2016-2017. Then he won the LMA Manager of the Year um, as well in 2016-2017. While he was at Chelsea, he was really good as well. Um, he was really successful there. Um, individual awards and bring a league title and FA Cup to Chelsea. So guys, so let us know in the comments, guys, what you think about um, could Conte be a could Conte be a good coach for Tottenham? Could he be the right uh, man, the right fit? Um, I know what people will say. Yes, uh, at the minute we need to um, to to sort things upstairs from top to bottom a recruitment then we'll leave Lewis and things like that but we still need to keep an eye and still need to look out for our new manager I mean because the, the next season will be quick it will be here very quickly I mean so I'm saying um, and uh, Antonio Conte well, I think I think it'll be a really good option uh, when it comes to Tottenham we don't know but the words were there fruitful talks going on um, so if you like uh, that video guys uh, smash the like guys leave your comments in there guys leave leave your comments up there and I'll get back to you guys I'd like to see what your your guys feelings on this one um, so remember guys um, if you want to keep um, me bringing content um, in things like this uh, and transfer news as well previews match watch alongs and quizzes and, and, and things like this guys keep support the channel subscribe to the channel tell everyone about this um, channel guys so I'm gonna leave it there guys so that's it that's um, talks um, have gone on between and Antonio Conte and Tottenham uh, so I like hope you like the video uh, smash the like guys remember guys hit the bell as well for, no for notifications um, if you want to know when my next videos are coming up as well so from Premier Hotspur TV I've been Simon guys have a good afternoon and we'll see you again. Come on you Spurs and Enoch out, Daniel Levy out.